The Douglas A-26 Invader is a United States twin-engined light bomber and attack aircraft that was built by Douglas Aircraft during World War II that also saw service during several of the Cold War's major conflicts. A limited number of highly modified aircraft served in combat until 1969. It was found to be a fast aircraft capable of carrying twice its specified bomb load. A range of guns could be fitted to produce a formidable ground attack aircraft. The redesignation of the type from A-26 to B-26 has led to popular confusion with the Martin B-26 Marauder, a design that first flew in November 1940, some 16 months before the Douglas designs made in flight. Although both types utilized the much-used Pratt & Whitney double WASP 18-cylinder, double-row engine, they were completely different designs. The last A-26 in active U.S. service was assigned to the Air National Guard. That aircraft being retired from military service in 1972 by the U.S. Air Force and the National Guard Bureau and donated to the National Air and Space Museum. Design and Development the A-26 was an unusual design for an attack bomber of the early 1940s period, as it was designed as a single pilot aircraft. The aircraft was designed by Edward Heinemann, Robert Donovan, and Ted A. Smith. The project aerodynamicist on the program was A.M.O. Smith, who designed the wing making use of the then new NACA 65-215 laminar flow airfoil. The Douglas XA-26 prototype first flew on July 10, 1942 at Mines Field, El Segundo, with test pilot Benny Howard at the controls. Flight tests revealed excellent performance and handling, but there were problems with engine cooling which led to curling changes and omission of the propeller spinners on production aircraft, plus modification of the nose landing gear after repeated collapses during testing. The A-26 was originally built in two different configurations. The A-26B had a solid nose, which originally could be equipped with a combination of armament including .50 caliber machine guns, 37mm auto cannon, 20mm or even a 75mm pack howitzer, but normally the solid nose version housed 6.50 caliber machine guns, officially termed the all-purpose nose later commonly known as the six-gun nose, or eight-gun nose. The A-26 car Eurosha Euro S glass nose, officially termed the Bombardier nose, contained a Norden bombsite for medium-altitude precision bombing. The A-26C nose section included two fixed M2 guns, later replaced by underwing gun packs or internal guns in the wings. After about 1,570 production aircraft, three guns were installed in each wing coinciding with the introduction of the eight-gun nose for A-26 BS, giving some configurations as many as 14.50 in machine guns in a fixed Ford mount. An A-26C nose section could be exchanged for an A-26B nose section, or vice versa, in a few man-hours, thus physically changing the designation and operational role. The flat-topped canopy was changed in late 1944 after about 820 production aircraft, to a clamshell style with greatly improved visibility. Alongside the pilot and an A-26B, a crew member typically served as navigator and gun loader for the pilot-operated nose guns. In an A-26C, that crew member served as navigator and bombardier, and relocated to the nose section for the bombing phase of an operation. A small number of A-26CS were fitted with dual flight controls some parts of which could be disabled in flight to allow limited access to the nose section. A tractor-style jump seat was located behind the navigator seat. In most missions, a third crew member in the rear gunner's compartment operated the remotely controlled dorsal and ventral gun turrets, with access to and from the cockpit possible via the bomb bay only when that was empty. Operational History, World War II Pacific the Douglas Company began delivering the production model A-26B to the United States Army Air Forces in August 1943 with the new bomber first seeing action with the 5th Air Force in the Southwest Pacific Theater on June 23, 1944, when Japanese-held islands near Manokwari were attacked. The pilots in the 3rd Bomb Group's 13th Squadron, the Grim Reapers, who received the first four A-26s for evaluation, found the view from the cockpit to be poor for low-level attack. General George Kenney, 
commander of the Far East Air Forces stated that, we do not want the A-26 under any circumstances as a replacement for anything. Until changes could be made, the 3D bomb group requested additional Douglas A-20 Havocs, although both types were used in composite flights. The 319th Bomb Group worked up on the A-26 in March 1945, joining the initial 3rd Berg, with the 319th flying until August 12, 1945. The A-26 operations wound down in mid-August 1945 with only a few dozen missions flown. Europe, Douglas needed better results from the invaders' second combat test, so A-26s began arriving in Europe in late September 1944 for assignment to the 9th Air Force. The initial deployment involved 18 aircraft and crews assigned to the 553D squadron of the 386th Bomb Group. This unit flew its first mission on September 6, 1944. No aircraft were lost on the eight test missions, and the 9th Air Force announced that it was happy to replace all of its A-20s and B-26s with the A-26 Invader. The first group to fully convert to the A-26B was 416th Bombardment Group with which it entered combat on November 17, and the 409th Bombardment Group, whose A-26s became operational in late November. Due to a shortage of A-26C variants, the groups flew a combined A-20 per A-26 unit until deliveries of the glass-nose version caught up. Besides bombing and strafing, tactical reconnaissance and night interdiction missions were undertaken successfully. In contrast to the Pacific-based units, the A-26 was well received by pilots and crew alike, and by 1945, the 9th AF had flown 11,567 missions, dropping 18,054 tons of bombs, recording seven confirmed kills while losing 67 aircraft. In Italy the 12th Air Force's 47th Bomb Group also received the A-26, starting in January 1945. They were used against German transport links, but also for direct support and interdiction against tanks and troop concentrations in the Po Valley in the final campaigns in Italy. Post-war era with the establishment of the United States Air Force as an independent service in 1947, the Strategic Air Command operated the redesignated B-26 in service from 1949 through 1950. U.S. Air Forces in Europe until 1957. The Tactical Air Command through the late 1960s, and the last examples in service with the Air National Guard through 1972. The U.S. Navy also used a small number of these aircraft in their utility squadrons for target towing and general utility use until superseded by the DC-130A variant of the C-130 Hercules. The Navy designation was JD-1 and JD-1D until 1962, when the JD-1 was redesignated UB-26J and the JD-1D was redesignated DB-26J. Korean War B-26 invaders of the 3D Bombardment Group, operating from bases in southern Japan, were some of the first US AF aircraft engaged in the Korean War, carrying out missions over South Korea on 27 and 28 June, before carrying out the first US AF bombing mission on North Korea on June 29, 1950 when they bombed an airfield outside of Pyongyang. On August 10, 1950, the Air Force Reserve's 452D Bombardment Wing was activated for Korean service. It flew its first missions in November 1950 from Itazuk, Japan doing daylight support with the 3rd Bomb Wing consisting of the 8th, 13th and 90th Bomb Squadrons flying night missions. Because of the Chinese intervention it was forced to find another base and move to Mio Air Base on the west coast of Honsha. In early 1951 it moved to Pusan East Air Base and continued its daylight as well as night intruder missions. In June 1951, it joined the 3rd Bomb Wing in night activity only, dividing the target areas with the 452nd taking the eastern half and the 3rd the western. For its efforts in the Korean War, it was awarded two unit citations and the Korean Presidential Citation. It also received credit for eight campaign operations. In May 1952 it was inactivated and all of its aircraft and equipment along with its regular Air Force personnel were absorbed by the 17th Bomb Wing. During its time as an active unit, 
The 452nd flew 15,000 sorties with a loss of 85 crewmen. B-26s were credited with the destruction of 38,500 vehicles, 406 locomotives, 3,700 railway trucks, and seven enemy aircraft on the ground. On September 14, 1951, Captain John S. Wormsley, Jr. attacked a supply train. When his guns jammed, he illuminated the target with his searchlight to enable his wingman to destroy the train. Wormsley was shot down and posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor. Invaders carried out the last USAF bombing mission of the war 24 minutes before the armistice agreement was signed on June 27, 1953. In addition to the standard attack versions of the B-26 which flew night interdiction missions, a small number of modified WB-26s and RB-26s of the 67th Tactical Reconnaissance Wing flew critical weather observation and reconnaissance missions in supporting roles. First Indochina War in the 1950s, the French Air Force's bombing groups including GB-1-19 Gascogne and GB-1-25 Tunisia, used B-26 during the First Indochina War lent to France by the United States Air Force. Cat B-based Douglas B-26 invaders operated over Dien Bien Phu in March and April 1954 during the siege of Dien Bien Phu. In this period, a massive use of Philippines-based USAF B-26s against the Viet Minh heavy artillery was planned by the U.S. and French Joint Chief of Staff as Operation Vulture, but was eventually cancelled by the respective governments. Indonesia, in 1958, the CIA started Operation Hake in Indonesia, concerned about the Sukarno regime's communist leanings. At least a dozen B-26 invaders were committed in support of rebel forces. On May 18, 1958, American contract pilot Alan Pope's B-26 was initially hit by anti-aircraft ground fire and then brought down by a North American P-51 Mustang flown by Captain Ignatius Durainto. The capture and trial of Lieutenant Pope brought a quick end to Operation Hake, but the capabilities of the invader were not lost on the Indonesian government. In 1959, the government purchased six aircraft at Davis Mongan AFB and these were ferried to Indonesia in full military markings during mid-1960. These aircraft would have a long career and were utilized in a number of actions against rebels in various areas. The last operational flights of the three survivors was in 1976 supporting the Indonesian invasion of East Timor. In 1977, the last two flyers were retired. Service with the USAF in Southeast Asia, the first B-26s to arrive in Southeast Asia were deployed to TAKHLIRTAFB, Thailand in December 1960. These unmarked aircraft, operated under the auspices of the US CIA, were soon augmented by an additional 16 aircraft, 12 B-26BS and B-26CS plus 4 B-26CS under Operation Mill Pond. The mission of all of these aircraft was to assist the Royal Lao government in fighting the Pachet Lao. The repercussions from the Bay of Pigs invasion meant that no combat missions are known to have been flown, although RB-26CS operated over Laos until the end of 1961. The aircraft were subsequently operated in South Vietnam under Project Farmgate. The only other deployment of B-26 aircraft to Laos prior to the introduction of the B-26 Carats Parada 26A was the deployment of two B-26 C aircraft, specifically modified for night reconnaissance, deployed to Laos between May and July 1962 under Project Black Watch. These aircraft, initially drawn from farm gate stocks, were returned upon the end of these missions. The aircraft from Laos participated in the early phase of the Vietnam War with the USAF, but with Vietnamese markings as part of Project Farmgate. Though Farmgate operated B-26BS, B-26CS, and genuine a B-26CS, many of these aircraft were operated under the designation of B-26C, though they were used in a combat capacity. During 1963, Two B 26 c were sent to Clark AB in the Philippines for modifications, though not with night systems as with those modified for Black Watch. The two aircraft returned from Black Watch to Farm Gate were subsequently given the designation of B 26L to distinguish them from other modified R B 26C, 
and were assigned to Project Sweet Sue. Farm Gates B-26s operated alongside the other primary strike aircraft of the time, the T-28 Trojan, before both aircraft types were replaced by the Douglas A-1 Sky Raider. The B-26s were withdrawn from service in February 1964 after two accidents related to wing spar fatigue, one during combat in Southeast Asia in August 1963 and one during an air power demonstration at Eglin AFB, Florida in February 1964. On February 11, 1964, two pilots from the 1st Air Commando Wing stationed at Herbert Field, FLA, died in the crash of a B-26 on Range 52 at Eglin AFB when it lost a wing during pullout from a strafing pass. The aircraft was participating in a demonstration of the Special Air Warfare Center's counterinsurgency capabilities and had completed a strafing run when the accident occurred. SAWC had presented the demonstration on an average of twice each month for the previous 21 months. B-26 aircraft used by USAF commandos in Vietnam were grounded April 8, 1964, following an official investigation into the 11th February accident. B-26 aircraft in use by the Vietnamese Air Force were also grounded in accordance with the U.S. ruling. In response to this, the Onmark Engineering Company of Van News, California was selected by the Air Force to extensively upgrade the invader for a counterinsurgency role. The first production flight of the B-26K was on May 30, 1964 at the Van News Airport. On Mark converted 40 invaders to the new B-26K counter-invader standard, which included upgraded engines, propellers, and brakes, remanufactured wings, and wingtip fuel tanks, for use by the 609th Special Operations Squadron. In May 1966, the B-26K was redesignated A-26A for political reasons and deployed in Thailand to help disrupt supplies moving along the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Two of these aircraft were further modified with a forward-looking infrared under Project Lonesome Tiger, as a part of Operation Shed Light. Bay of Pigs Invasion In early 1961, about 20 B-26BS, most converted from B-26C configuration, were sanitized at Duke Field, Florida. They had defensive armament removed, and were fitted with the eight-gun nose, underwing drop tanks, and rocket racks. They were flown to a CIA-run base in Guatemala where training was underway of B-26, C-46 and C-54 Cuban exile air crews by personnel from the Alabama ANG. After transfer to Nicaragua in early April 1961, they were painted in the markings of the FAR, the Air Force of the Cuban government. On April 15, 1961, crewed by Cuban exiles, Eight B-26s of the FAL attacked three Cuban airfields, in an attempt to destroy FAR combat aircraft on the ground. On April 17, 1961, FAL B-26s supported the Seabourn Bay of Pigs invasion of Cuba. The conflict ended on April 19, after the loss of nine FAL B-26s, ten Cuban exiles and four American aircrew in combat. The FAR flew B-26CS in the conflict, one of which was shot down by a CIA command ship with a loss of four Cuban aircrew. Africa in the 1960s, the CIA contracted pilots, some previously employed during the Bay of Pigs invasion, to fly B-26KS for ground attack against Simba rebels in the Congo crisis. New production B-26K counter-invaders were delivered to the Congo via Herbert Field in 1964. The Portuguese Air Force purchased invaders covertly for use in Portuguese Angola in 1965, during the Portuguese Colonial War. Biafra used two provisionally armed B-26s in combat during Nigerian Civil War in 1967, flown among others by Jan Zumch. Variants, Douglas U.S. military variants, the large majority of the A-26 per B-26 invaders production run of 2,452 were early A-26BS and A-26CS. XA-26 serial number 41 to 19,504 served as the prototype for the series. Initially flown with dummy armament. XA-26A Serial number 41 to 19505 served as a prototype night fighter with a crew of two, 
Pilot Plus Radar Operator Gunner, XA-26B, serial number 41 to 19588 was a prototype solid-nosed attack variant with crew of three, pilot, gun loader navigator plus gunner in rear, and carrying a forward firing 75mm cannon. A 26B, attack bomber with solid nose carrying 6 or 8 0.50 in machine guns. Production totals. 1,355 A-26BS were built and delivered, 205 at Tulsa, Oklahoma plus 1,150 at Long Beach, California. About 24 more airframes were built at Long Beach but not delivered to USAAF, some of those later sold to other civil and military customers. A 26B was redesignated B-26B with USAF in 1948. TB-26B Unarmed variant converted from B-26B for training purposes. VB-26B, unarmed variant converted from B-26B for administrative purposes. A 26C, attack bomber. Production totals, 1,091 A-26CS were built and delivered, 5 at Long Beach, California plus 1,086 at Tulsa, Oklahoma. About 53 more airframes were built at Tulsa but not delivered to USAAF, some of those later sold to other civil and military customers. A 26C was redesignated B-26C with USAF in 1948. A B-26C, unarmed photo reconnaissance variant converted from B-26C. It carried cameras and flash flares for night photography. Designated FA-26C prior to 1962. TB-26C, unarmed variant converted from B-26C for training purposes. XA-26D, serial number 44 to 34776 prototype for the proposed A-26D attack bomber with uprated Chevrolet manufactured R-2800-83 engines and late model A-26B armament of 80.50 in machine guns in solid nose and 60.50 in guns in the wing. Series of 750 A-26DS was cancelled after VJ Day. XA-26E, serial number 44 to 25563 prototype for the A-26E attack bomber. As with the XA-26D but with an A-26C type glass nose. A contract for 2150 A26EDTs was cancelled following VJ Day. XA26F, serial number 44 to 34586 prototype for a high-speed A26F powered by two 2100 HPR 2800-83 engines driving four-bladed propellers with a 1600 pound force ST. General Electric J31 turbojet installed in the rear fuselage. The prototype reached a top speed of 435 mph but the series was cancelled as performance gains were not sufficient. A 26Z, unofficial designation for a proposed post-war production version of the A26. It was to have a more powerful version of the Pratt & Whitney A2800 radial engine and was to be fitted with such features as a raised pilot's cockpit canopy an improved cockpit arrangement and wingtip drop tanks. If produced, the unglazed nose version would have been designated A26G and the glazed nose version A26H. However, in October 1945, the USAAF concluded that there were enough A26 aircraft to meet post-war needs, consequently, the A26Z version was not produced. JD-1 U.S. Navy version with one A-26B and one A-26C redesignated during World War II, post-war, 150 surplus A-26s for use by land-based Navy utility squadrons as target tugs and later, drone directors and general utility aircraft. In 1962, the JD-1 and JD-1D were redesignated UB-26J and DB-26J respectively. YB-26K one Mark Engineering prototype for refurbished attack bomber. Modifications included rebuilt, strengthened wings, enlarged tail assembly, new R2800-103W engines with reversible propellers propeller spinners, dual controls, wingtip tanks, new avionics and increased hardpoint armament enhancements. B-26 
B26K, one mark engineering conversions of 40 B26BS or TB26BS with two B26CS and a single JB26C. Changes included fitting of 2500 HPR 2800-52W engines with no propeller spinners and the six-wing guns deleted. During operations in Vietnam, in May 1966, the aircraft were reassigned the old attack designation of A-26A. The A-26s were retired in 1969 when they had reached the safe limits of allotted flying time. A B-26L to a B-26CS modified for night photography missions. B-26N, unofficial designation applied to B-26s operated by the French Air Force in Algeria as night fighters. These aircraft were modified B-26CS fitted with AIMKX radar taken from obsolete Meteor NF-11 night fighters, two underwing gun packs each with two 0.50 in M2 Browning machine guns and SNEB rocket pods. Third-party civil variants. Since 1945, over 300 A-26s have been entered onto the FAA U.S. Civil Aircraft Register. Perhaps up to a hundred of those were probably only registered for ferry flights from USAF bases such as Davis Mongan AFB, AZ and Hill AFB, UT to civil airports and stored as candidates for sale on the civil or overseas military markets. The initial main civil uses were as executive personnel transports with minimal modifications such as removal of military features, Bombay doors sealed shut, passenger entry stairs in Bombay, and the conversion of the fuselage to accept six to eight passengers. Improvements developed considerably until the early 1960s, when purpose-built executive types such as the turboprop Gulfstream I started to become available. During the mid-1950s, a-26s were tested and used as air tankers for suppression of forest and wildland fires, and may have briefly used borate-based retardants, hence the inaccurate and unofficial term borate bombers. Borate was soon discontinued due to its undesirable ecologic effects, replaced with retardant mixtures of water, clays, fertilizers and red dyes. But use of A-26s on USDA contracts was discontinued in major regions by about 1973, when many of the A-26 air tankers then found willing purchases in Canada. Much early development of conversions was carried out by Grand Central Aircraft, whose drawings and personnel were taken up by the Ilmark Engineering Company of Van Nuys, California from about 1955. By the 1960s, Onmark had obtained an exclusive license from Douglas Aircraft Company for manufacture and sale of parts for A-26s. The Onmark executive, the Onmark marketeer, and the more radical pressurized Onmark marksmen were products of this effort. The next most significant conversion was the Rock Island Monarch 26, while less numerous and more basic conversions for executive operations were carried out by Weld Engineering, L.B. Smith Aircraft Corporation. R.G. Latour New Incorporated, Rhodesbury Company and Lockheed Aircraft Service Incorporated. Garrett I Research used two A-26 variants as test beds for turbine engines. See also XA-26F above. Operators. Survivors. Specifications. Data from McDonnell Douglas Aircraft since 1920, general characteristics, crew, 3, length, 50 feet 0 inches, Wingspan, 70 feet 0 in, height, 18 feet 3 in, wing area, 540 FTA squared, empty weight, 22,850 pounds, loaded weight, 27,600 pounds, max takeoff weight, 35,000 pounds, power plant, Tua, Pratt and Whitney A2800 27 Dubal Wasp radial engine, 2,000 horsepower each, performance, maximum speed, 355 miles per hour, range, 1,400 miles, service ceiling, 22,000 feet, rate of climb, 1,250 feet per minute, wing loading, 51 pounds FTA squared, power mass, 0.145 horsepower per pound, armament, guns, 6 or 8 0.50 and M2 Browning machine guns in solid, all-purpose nose, or two 0.50 and M2 machine guns in glass bombardier nose, 
up to 80.50 and M2 machine guns paired in four optional underwing pods, or 30.50 and M2 machine guns in each. Outer wing panel, 20.50 and M2 machine guns in remote control dorsal turret, 20.50 and M2 machine guns in remote control ventral turret. Rockets, up to 10 5 inch HVAR rockets on zero length launch pylons, 5 under each outer wing panel. Bombs, up to 6,000 LB capacity, 4,000 LB in the bomb bay plus 2,000 LB carried externally on underwing hardpoints, notable appearances in media. In July 2005, the archaeological television program Time Team of the UK's Channel 4, along with members of RAF Millam Museum, took part in a major project to excavate the crash sites of two A-26 Invader aircraft that had collided shortly after takeoff over marshes close to the then USAAF Badu Air Base at Wharton in Lancashire on November 29, 1944. The aircraft, a 26B-10 DT-43-22298 and a 26B-15 DT-43-22336, had been en route to Bra Copyright Tinny, Ois in northern France to take up service with the 641st Bombardment Squadron of the 409th Bombardment Group. See also Water Bomber, Shoran, Related Development, A-20 Havoc, Aircraft of Comparable Role, Configuration and Era, Bristol Brigand, Junkers Ju-188, Two Pole of 2 Related Lists, List of Aircraft of World War II. List of military aircraft of the United States, list of attack aircraft, list of bomber aircraft, references, notes, citations, bibliography, external links, photo of prototype XA2641-19504, manual, AN01-40AJ2 erection and maintenance instructions for Army models A26B and A26C airplanes, A26 Lady Liberty. Confederate Air Force, Hill Aerospace Museum, Douglas A-26 Invader Information, Herbert AFB, Fact Sheets, A-26 Counter Invader, Martin J. Simpson's A-26 History Website, SHA-26 Sponsor Group, Commemorative Air Force, The A-26 Legacy Foundation, Operation Final Flight, Popular Science, July 1945, Plain. Of Many Faces, Douglas A-26 Invader Registry, Spherical Panoramas of the Interior of the Spirit of North Carolina.